يلا شرفوا يلا روحوا لهناك شرفوا بينا 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 نو بدو بيست نو اي دونت نو كيلومتر 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 نو بروبليم انا يا اخي زبون باصات ما اذا اخذونا على الكون باش يكون البيت Thousands of refugees who made perilous journeys to Europe this summer have been sleeping at Budapest Keleti Station, waiting for trains to take them to Western Europe. Eventually, they stopped waiting and set out on foot. Hi, and wait, welcome to PSSLC News. Today we're going to be talking about the Syrian refugee crisis that is affecting hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. Stay tuned for more information coming up next. In the summer of 2015, Europe experienced the highest influx of refugees since the Second World War. Why? The main reason is that Syria has become the world's top source of refugees. Syria is located in the Middle East, an ancient, fertile land settled for at least 10,000 years. Since the 1960s, it's been led by the Al-Assad family, who have ruled it as quasi-dictators until the Arab Spring happened in 2011, a revolutionary wave of protests and conflicts in the Arab world that toppled many authoritarian regimes. But the Assads refused to step down and started a brutal civil war. Different ethnicities and religious groups fought each other in changing coalitions. ISIS, a militaristic jihadist group, used the opportunity and entered the chaos with the goal to build a totalitarian Islamic caliphate. Very quickly, it became one of the most violent and successful extremist organizations on earth. All sides committed horrible war crimes using chemical weapons, mass executions, torture on a large scale, and repeated deadly attacks on civilians. The Syrian population was trapped between the regime, rebel groups, and the religious extremists. A third of the Syrian people have been displaced within Syria, while over four million have fled the country. The vast majority of them reside now in camps in the neighboring countries who are taking care of 95% of the refugees, while the Arab states of the Persian Gulf together have accepted zero Syrian refugees, which has been called especially shameful by Amnesty International.